Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at combining VLOOKUP with IF. I've got various different scenarios where you might use the combination of the two functions. Let's start off with this one. We're going to work out the commission. Commission is on any sales over 50,000, and depending on the band for each salesperson, you get a different commission rate. So, what I would do is I'd start off with my VLOOKUP. I'm looking up this band in this table array. Fix that with F4. And I want to return values from the second column, the commission column. And this is an exact match. So I can use zero or false for that. Close the bracket. Now, if I copy that down, you can see I get the correct percentage. However, if the salesperson hasn't reached the sales target, then they don't get any commission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if this sales value is greater than or equal to my sales target, which I need to fix, then my value of true is the VLOOKUP, otherwise 0% commission. So value of false, zero, close the bracket. Now if I copy this down, you can see that it returns the correct percentage commission. So anything below 50,000, unfortunately, the salesperson doesn't get any commission. Otherwise, it's returning the correct commission percentage from this table. So to find out what the commission is as a monetary amount, it's basically this percentage on the difference between the sales and the target. So I can do that calculation in my value of true. What I'm doing is I'm saying sales minus the sales target, which I need to fix, multiplied by the VLOOKUP. Now I need to put the subtraction in bod mass brackets. So that's calculated first. And then format this as currency copy down and you can see I get the commission amounts. Okay, let's go to the second example, compare two lists. Now what I want to do here is find out which customers in February are new customers. I can use fee lookup over here and I'm looking up the first customer in February in the list of customers in the January table. I'm only selecting one table because I'm not looking to borrow anything from this table, just to compare two lists. Need to fix that with F4. My col index number has to be one because there's only one column in my table array. And I'm doing an exact match. So I'll put zero in or false. Then I want this column, copy this down. And you can see that wherever there is a new customer, I get an NA result. Now, what I really want to say is yes, rather than the NA errors, and to show nothing in the sales where I've currently got the old customers. So what I can do here is, first of all, do a logical test that works out whether the VLOOKUP returns an NA. So to do that, I can use isNA. And that gives me my true and false results. And then with the true and false, I can convert true to a value of true of yes and a value of false of an empty text string. If I copy this down, you can see I now just get the yeses where there is a new customer. Okay, let's go on to the third example. Look up across multiple tables. Okay, so my discount here for these purchases are in three tables. I've got your category A products and the discount scheme for that then your category B, and then your category C. So essentially I've got to write three VLOOKUPs. Now to do this, you can either use a nested if or an ifs function. I'll do both. Let's start with a nested if. And we would say if the category letter is A, then you need to do a VLOOKUP for the quantity in this table, which I need to fix, turning values from the second column. And here I'm doing an approximate match. So I'm looking up 
see the value of 78 within this range, which is in the fourth position, 50 to 99. So I don't need to use the last argument if I'm doing that sort of VLOOKUP. So that's my value of true. My value of false will have to be another if. And I would say, is the category equal to B? If true, do a VLOOKUP of this quantity in this table array. Again, fix it, I'm returning values from column two, close the bracket. And then the value of false would be a VLOOKUP on the final table. So I'd be looking at the quantity in this table array, returning values from column two. Three close brackets at the end, press enter. Now let's just see if the percentages are correct. If I copy this down, so for example, a category A product with a quantity of 78 should be getting 5%, and that's what it does. So a category C product of 74 should be getting a 7% discount, and it is. Let's look at one more. Category B product, quantity of 61, should be getting a 5% discount, which it is. So now I can work out the total. I've got these column headings the wrong way around. Let's change that. So the total would be the quantity times the price times open bracket one minus the discount. And that will give me the total. Now, as I said, there are two ways of doing this. We've used a nested if there. Let's do the same thing, but with ifs. So I could say equals ifs, logical test one. So is this category equal to A? If true, if you look up this quantity in this table, returning values from column two. Now with ifs, there is no value of false. You just go to the next test. So if the first test isn't met, it goes to the second test. So my second test would be is the category equal to B? And the value of true for that would be my VLOOKUP, looking up this quantity in this table, turning values from column two. And then what I could do for my logical test three, I could say, is this equal to C? So is the category C with true VLOOKUP this quantity? in the category C table. You can see if I copy that down, I get the same results. Now there is actually another way, which doesn't use if, but uses the choose function. Now what I would need is just a little list down here, A, B, and C, and I would say equals choose. Index number is the first argument. Now, if I have an index number of one, it returns value one. If I have an index number of two, I return value two. So my value one is going to be this lookup table. My value two is going to be category B table. My value three is going to be my category C table. I need some way of translating A to be an index number of one, B to be an index number of two, and C to be an index number of three. And the way I can do this is using the match function. In fact, what we'll do is we use match on its own, first of all. If I look up this value in this array and do an exact match, which is zero at the end, and just make that a number. If I copy this down, you can see that A gets a one, C gets a three, B gets a two, which is exactly what I want. So what we're looking to do with choose is to return the correct table array for our VLOOKUP. I'm going to put choose back in here. We know we've got our index number sorted out. So value one is going to be this array, which we need to fix, comma. Value two is going to be this table array. Value three is going to be this table array. Close the bracket, press enter. Now ignore this spill error. You wouldn't get that if you weren't in Excel 365. 
It's just trying to spill its results into surrounding cells horizontally and vertically. It's not really relevant to what we're doing here. I want to use my VLOOKUP to look up this quantity in the table array returned by our choose function, returning values so column two. If I copy this down, you can see I get exactly the same results as before. Okay, let's move on to final example with the drop down. So what I've got here is first seven Formula One races of the season. I've got the position that each competitor finished the race in. And what I want to do is to compare the old point system with the new point system. So the old point system, these are the points you used to get for these positions, and this is the new point system. So the first thing I'm going to have is a drop down list here that allows me to switch between these two point systems. And to do that, I'm going to select that cell, go to the data tab on my ribbon, and the data tools group, go to the data validation button, allow a list, the source, are going to be these two cells here, old points and new points. And then that gives me my drop down list. So if this says, old points, I've got to return values from the second column, new points, the third column. So it equals VLOOKUP. I'm looking up position that the racing driver finished in within this table, which I'm going to fix. And the col index number will be an if. I'm going to say if B16, which I need to fix, is equal to old points. then I want to return values from the second column within the table array. Otherwise, I want to return values from the third column. I'll close the bracket there. Range lookup, it's an exact match again. So put in a zero for that. Press enter, copy this down, copy it across. Now you'll see that I get an NA if the competitor didn't complete or if he got a finishing position outside of the top 10, or if in the old point system, it would be outside the top eight. Now, what I want is all those NAs to be zeros. So what I can do here is use if error or if NA. Now, both would do the same thing. I'm gonna choose if NA. You may not have it in your version of Excel. And what I do with if NA is I have to give it a, a value, which is our VLOOKUP function, and then a value if NA, which will be a zero, no points. Close the bracket. Copy that down, copy across. And now I can add up these rows. So I select those cells, Alt equals for auto sum. And now if I change to the new points, I get the total for each driver when the new point system is applied. But if I want to go retro, I can see what they would get with the old point system. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful for you. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.